What is up, I Love Basketball TV? Today I'm going to be showing you how to steal James Harden's step back package. Let's get to it. I bet when I land, they're going to tell me it's luck again. See that I'm winning, it's harder to watch. I'm setting the stage. So we're going to be looking at a few different step backs that he does because you want the full package. But number one is going to be the same side step back that he does. So a little bit different as a traditional step back. A traditional step back, you're going to dribble the ball with the left hand and the right foot forward. Boom. And then afterwards, you're going to go ahead and step back, create some space. The difference is the timing with James Harden because he doesn't dribble and then push out into that step back. He actually floats and then gets out into a step back. So the way he sets it up is not with the dribble, but on the float. So when the ball is in the palm, right? That's your float. Dribble, every time it hits the floor, float when it's in the palm. So he's able to go ahead and dribble in the palm, boom, and then hit you with that different timing that you're not necessarily used to. So he's putting that dribble, step back right there. Very similar, just different timing. And that's the key to James Harden's step back is mixing up the rhythm. So he likes to set it up with this pop, pop, cross, between, cross, between. And then as it's floating, push off that right foot, create the space left, right. So he has balance because you're gonna push off this one and then decelerate off that one. Balance right here, we're up into the shot. One more time, let me show you. We're gonna be here, cross, between, cross, between. As the ball's floating, right foot is the one that does the step back and we push one, two, right? The steps don't count until we actually pick up the ball. So really, even though we're taking this one, two, three, those don't technically count as steps because I could go and keep dribbling if I don't put my hand underneath it, right? If I keep my dribble alive, I can continue to move until that ball is picked up, then the steps count. So I'm here, pop, and I'm there, all right? Don't pick the ball up now, but pick it up now. And then once feet set, you can get straight into that shot. That's our same side step back. Lots of ways to set it up, but you wanna be on the float, boom, and then balanced up into that shot. Now the second one we're looking at is gonna be his misdirection step back. So it's the same thing as the last one, except when the ball is in the left hand, I'm actually gonna be going to the right. So you've seen players do this move, right? Pop and step back like so. James Harden doesn't do it like that all the time. He does sometimes, but some can add a few more steps or mix up the timing. But because I don't want you to get called for a travel, we're gonna go ahead and mix, just mix up the timing instead of adding steps. So he comes here and the ball is in the left hand, but instead of pushing off the right foot like we did last time to go this way, he's actually gonna push off the left foot and come opposite, right? Bringing the ball over to this side. So the ball's left hand, boom, push off the left foot, one, two, right into that shot. So here, you set it up, pop, one, two. And again, as soon as I secure the ball, that's when my steps count. So as a right-handed player, some of these moves might feel more comfortable with the ball on the right hand versus the left hand. You're gonna have to play with it and kind of see which one feels best, but that misdirection, going here is a bit tougher sometimes as it is here as you see Chris Paul do it or you see James Harden of course as a lefty push to the right or right he's not want to push to the left so you can set it up however you want to and just get away on the float right it's not on the dribble it's on the float and that's the difference so James Harden we're going same side and we'll miss direction as well pushing it away from the basketball it's a good idea to work on both now the most elite of all is James's ability to create space and then create more space. So generally when someone goes into a snatch back, that is your creation of space. Pop, that is my creation of space. And you set your feet and you shoot the shot. However, James has mastered the ability to float the basketball without carrying it, without picking it up. So he gets into his snatch and then instead of just setting his feet into the shot, he gets one more push out and then sets his feet, creating an extra three or four feet of space. So he's able to go snatch, right foot, push, one, two, or snatch, left foot, push, one, two. And you can see how that ball is floating in my hand. Even after all of those steps, I could still take a dribble because I've never picked it up. If I were to go snatch, pick up, I'm done. You might travel because you're, that's gonna get called. But if I'm able to hang it, and create that space. I can go ahead and set my feet without ever picking up the ball and be ready to shoot after creating an extra four or five feet of space. So to work on this, we're gonna go downhill as fast as we can, boom, snatch, and then the lead foot right here is the one that's gonna get back underneath us and push us even further, right? So if it's left hand, left foot, boom, that lead foot will get under us and push us out. Right side, get under, push out. Snatch here, right, push. Come here, boom, left, push. 
as long as you can go ahead and protect the ball away, don't pick it up, land on balance, and then get straight into your shot. Now that you have all three and you understand all three, the drill that I want you to master, we're gonna talk about being able to hit nine, right? This is our goal. We want to hit the same side three times in a row, then the opposite side three times in a row, and then the extra separation three times in a row, that touch step back there. So the way you're gonna do this, you're gonna start with just three in a row to the same side. Let's say that we're starting with our right hand, right? So I'm gonna be here, boom, ball goes into the right hand on that float, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce out. So I can be here, boom, ball in right hand, I'm pushing out to the right side, I want three of those in a row. If you cannot do that from three, go ahead and do it from mid-range, but work on that float, pop, right? Float, pop, I'm coming out to that right side. Once I can hit that, now ball is going back into the right hand. Boom, but I'm coming opposite, getting into my shot. So I want three of these in a row as well. This is the drill for you to master, right? We're getting three of those in a row, three opposite in a row, and then we're gonna push here downhill with the right hand, snatch it with the right hand, and push back off that right foot, making sure that we can get into nice space there and knock that down. That's three in a row. Once you can hit your nine all right-handed, we're gonna do the same thing with the left. Try to feel comfortable putting the ball on the left, pop. Push out, put it in the left, pop, come back this way. Or drive and snatch with the left, pop, rebalance yourself there. If you wanna add the James Harden package, this is it right here. Making sure that you can work on those nine in a row with the right and nine in a row with the left. We hope you enjoyed today's video, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you did, and subscribe as we're dropping new videos every single week. So make sure you hit that notification bell. And if you hit the link and the pinned comment down below, it's gonna give you access to our new shooting program. So make sure that you go get that one, as it's an incredible program and it's gonna help you a ton. We'll catch you guys in the next video.